Not real big, but this first one this morning on this uh, Berkeley General. It's a uh, worm that I just picked up uh, a couple of days to go to try out and uh, didn't take long, just maybe 10 minutes. But a little later, I'm gonna show you guys how to rig these worms, how to, uh, how to rig your uh, shaky heads. So uh, let's see if we can get another one. of this guy. There you go. That's a toad there. I've been out here for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes total. I'm fishing a little uh, rocky point here that's got wind blowing right on it. This is the third fish off the rocky point. This is a good fish here. This is uh, probably close to a, uh, I'm going to say over four. We're gonna put him in there and let him chill out a minute. I'm gonna see if I can't catch another one off this rocky boy.
through my worm, but another good fish on the general this morning. So I'm going to show you exactly how I was rigging it. First, uh, the shaggy head I was using, I used all different kinds, screw locks, but this one here, I think Z-Man makes it. It's kind of broken, but it's got a little collar on it. Collar's supposed to be stationary, but it's kind of, man, this thing, it's caught a lot of fish today, so it got pretty ripped up. But uh, here's the way I've been doing this. I've been using this little uh, quarter ounce Z-Man ball head, and I use screw, screw lock ball heads too, but I take my general worm, take the hook and just run it through just a little bit of the top and then back out the side and slide it up the collar all the way up the collar like that then I'll take the hook and kind of go into the fat part of the worm just kind of bury it in the fat part till it looks just like that I mean perfectly straight up and down and that's the way I'm gonna rig my uh, my worm so that's the way I rigged it today and that's what you're gonna see on the video you're gonna see uh, a lot of these fish I caught. So I'm going to show you the the rod and reel and the type of line I was using to. Um, this is a St. Croix Bass X rod. It's a medium heavy. It's I believe it's seven uh, seven one. So it's a medium heavy seven one St. Croix rod with a pin fierce uh, reel on it. And what I did was I put uh, high vis braid, like 12 pound hybrid high vis braid, and then uh, I put uh, some, uh, it's uh, eight pound tatsu on top of that. And that's what I used for the worm today. So uh, that's the rod and the reel and the line, the jig head and the worm. And I'm gonna tell you where I used it. Uh, we had some wind this morning. The wind's kind of out of the west. I like it a lot when the wind's out of the west because I know a lot of points that the west wind will blow right on the point with rocks. And if you can find a point that's got wind blowing on it and it's, it's a rocky point, it's got a lot of big chunk rock or something like that, and it's in the sun early in the morning, there's going to be fish there. So that's what I did. We had wind this morning. So what I did was I just kept pulling up the points that had sun and wind blowing onto the point and I just spot locked the boat in maybe 25 feet of water and I just started fan casting the point with the rocks and, I, and that was the main thing it was rocks you know I did try some mud stuff and I just don't think the fish are on the mud like they are the hard rock right now so that's how I caught my fish today that's the rig that's the that's the worm and like I was saying in my report last week you know there's lots of different type worms that work and uh, you just have to find one that works for you.
you go. Another one on the general. This year. That last fish that I set the hook on, he got off, but man, he just shredded this bait. You can see the big old bite mark he took out of it, so it's pretty much hash. So I'm down to my last worm. As soon as, uh, as, soon as that's uh, used up, I'm heading back to the house, so I'm going to put it on. That was a pretty good sized fish that I've just missed back there, so I'm gonna kinda make some fan casts around here and see if we can't get him to bite again. Thank <laughs> you. 